fancy getting up close and personal with the Mona Lisa? Now you can, if you're the highest bidder. The Louvre is holding an online sale of unique experiences to help restore the gallery's finances after months of closures. The top lot, a front seat at the annual evaluation of Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece, which involves removing it from its glass case to check on a crack on the surface. Emily Villette of Auctioneer Christie's estimates the Mona Lisa experience will sell for somewhere between 10 and 30,000 euros. It's such an unusual opportunity to uh, attend the annual examination of the Mona Lisa uh, outside our display case. You know, it's a really um, an unprecedented um, possibility. And in the past, uh, only a few statesmen have had the possibility to attend this very moment when they were visiting the country, so it has a diplomatic gift. But for the wider public, it's uh, rather impossible. It's um, taking place every year in December at a secret date, and it's really an opportunity to not only see the Mona Lisa outside of this case, but to really see uh, the object itself. You know, the painting is on a, uh, is on a wooden panel, but for most of the public, it's an image, it's an icon. But, you know, in the end, it's a real work of art, and the buyer will have the opportunity to really see it in a way nobody else had the opportunity to. The sale, dubbed Bid for the Louvre, also offers a chance to purchase contemporary works. Other experiences up for grabs include a walk along the museum's rooftop with French street artist J.R. Jan Latoué, head of development within the commercial partnerships and brand licensing team, says the money will fund educational projects, including a new studio. The Louvre name is known throughout the world, and thanks to that reputation, we also have benefactors who come from around the world, companies who support us from around the world. But contrary to what you might think, that doesn't mean that the Louvre is an extremely rich museum. It's rich in terms of its collections, its history, its masterpieces. But that role as the world's number one museum means we have a big responsibility and that comes at a cost. The Louvre is suffering like all big museums around the world are. The Louvre will lose between 80 and 90 million euros this year. So it's true that this sale will allow us to maintain our projects, particularly educational projects that are very important to us.